Americans a story, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, well, I think I have the perfect one. You see, when I was a little girl, I used to stay with my Uncle Guido in Sicily. And whenever I got upset, he said, he said to me, I'll take care of it. Mercedes, he said to me, forget about it. And so I did. And then we went to go see a play. Well, my favorite play was Scapino. And now Scapino is a French play. Uh, it's translated into English, uh, but it's set in Italy. And now you think that's confusing. Uh, listen to the plot. Our first young lover, Atavio, is madly in love with a beautiful, uh, but very sad, a girl named Giacinta. And now his father, Argante, will not permit the marriage because he's already married him to some other girl. And now our next young lover, and the friend of Ottavio is Leandro. Leandro's madly in love with the gypsy girl named Zerbinetta. Uh, but his father, Geronti, will not let him marry either uh, because a gypsy would bring dishonor to the family name. Uh, so the two young friends uh, must find a solution. And they turn to their friend, Scapino. Uh, but Scapino's not the nice guy that they think he is. Uh, so enjoy the laughter and the confusion that we shall bring to you. We bring a scapino. Oh, 
The poverty in which my poor lovely wife and now live. There, there. Wait a minute. What's the problem here? You should be ashamed of yourself getting your pants well, in that water, but I need a bitty tiny thing like this. Samuel! Oh, here comes my love now. Of course. Oh, Samuel! Oh, Samuel! Is it true? Your father's back and is going to marry you up to somebody else? <laughs> yes, and I am as heartbroken as you are. But what is this? You're crying. Surely you don't doubt my love for you. Yes, but Savio, I'm sure you love me. But I'm not so sure you'll always love me. How could anyone love you without loving you for the rest of one's life? Oh, Savio, <coughs> I've heard. I've heard these ugly rumors that your sex loves not so long as ours. And those burning passions men discover are as easily extinguished as they are set alight. But my dear Jacinta, I'm not made. Like other men. <laughs> but I know that I shall love you till the day I die. Oh, Samuel, Samuel. I'm sure you believe what you say. And I don't doubt that your words are sincere. But you're completely dependent on your father. Who determined to marry you all to somebody else. Why, if that would have happened, I'll expect to die. No father shall make me break my word to you. Why, I would give up my country, my life itself, rather than give up you. Oh. Your tears, they wound me. Everyone to the heart. Oh. <laughs> to make you happy, I shall hold back my fears and wait with dry eyes for whatever fate has in store. Fate is on our side. It must be, if only you stay true to me. Never doubt that. Then I should be happy. <laughs> oh. Get back to work, all of you. I'm gonna be sick if I don't get out of here. <laughs> I gotta go to work. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, he hear the man who could be a marvelous help to us in our situation. Oh. Oh, I was always a sucker for a sappy ending. I tell you what I do. I might be able to help you out if you were to ask me nicely. Well, if it's only a matter of asking nicely, I beg you with all of my heart. Ah, oh, that's nice. What about you? <laughs> Don't you have anything nice to say to me? That's yes, right. Yes, Capino. I beg you by everything that dears to you. To help us stand our love. That's very nice of you too. I'll tell you what I can do. I'll do some thinking on your behalf. If you kiss my hand again. <laughs> hey, hey, I need it back. <clears throat> All right. Tell you what I'm gonna do. You just need to get home right now. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. Everything's under control. Ciao. Ciao. What a lovely girl. Ciao. Arrivederci. Oh, that's right, you're here. Hey, here. We got to get you ready to meet your father. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to keep a stiff upper lip. Uh, be strong, don't show any fear. Uh, I must admit, my lips quivering already. Uh, I suffer from a sort of natural cowardice. You are dead. You better get ready, because here comes your father now. Remember what I told you. Oh, stupid and high! Get out, get, get, get off me! Get hey. off Oh, I'm gonna have to do this myself. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Blast. Of such a thing. What the thing to do? Uh, that the hero dash sending me about this marriage. Well, they make excuses. Excuses. That's a given. Perhaps they entertain me bad stories. Next time it's on my side. Yeah, I always like to know that. They 
take shots making idiots of me. I don't think I have any part to go I on that. Want And for Sabestra, I'll I, I beat her to a jelly. <laughs> I knew he would remember me. Of course he would. Bye. Aha! There you are. I come down and face you. I'll beat you to jelly. Down and die. Get up on you. Come on, I can't do anything. You forgot to preserve. <laughs> I can't say anything, you idiot. Ah, oh, sir. Uh, don't get all riled up. Here, uh, how was your trip back? Very pleasant, very pleasant. Let me have a round piece. So, uh, tell me, have you uh, heard any news? You mean you haven't heard what's going on while I've still been away? Well, let me say, I, I've heard a few little, uh, you know, uh, jokey things. A few jokey things? A catastrophe like this? A catastrophe? You uh, exaggerate. There's nothing to get this way fuss about. A son to be made without the consent of his father? Yes, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. Well, I do think it is. Don't you think I have every right in the world to be furious? Sir, let me tell you. I was uh, the exact same way when I heard about uh, your son's situation. Oh. Yes. You just asked him how I uh, lectured him and uh, uh, lectured him on the thing. Why did the respect you to a father whose footsteps he's not good enough to kiss? <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it's nothing to be, uh, you know, really worried about. Ah, thank you. But you know something? What are you gonna do? Fate led him to it. Oh, the easiest excuse in the world. Oh, no, no, no. And why? Sir, you can't expect young people to be as weak. Young people are, uh... Young? Exactly. Why are you just take Leandro, for example? What? Huh? Yes. Despite everything I ever taught him, he's turned out worse than your son. Worse than mine? Yes? Yes. Here. That's another one. Well, <clears throat> you remember uh, back in the old day when uh, we were uh, young and uh, we used to, uh, you know, uh, sow the wild oat? <laughs> yes, I remember. It's very true. It's very, very true. true. Don't know who the devil told you, but it's very true. Very true. I haven't gotten myself to the fix. He's done. Sir, don't get so worried about it. He finds a girl who is enchanted by him. Because he takes after you, you old dog. Yes, 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 <laughs> I know. You know something? I'll tell you exactly the way the evening happened. One evening, they are walking along. When all of a sudden, in burst her parents. Why? He is at gunpoint, manhandled to the church, and forced to marry her. How does he do it? Let me ask you, sir. Would you rather your son be married or be dead? I would personally choose marriage. What? They never told it to me quite like that. Who's they? Who? They don't know what they're talking about. Well, you can just ask Leandro or myself, or even Octavio. We'll tell you the exact same story. Would we lie to you, sir? Well, Slip on straight to the police and report the assault. The police, phooey. That's just what he couldn't do. Well, it would have made it much more easier for me to dissolve the marriage. You wouldn't dissolve the marriage. I wouldn't dissolve the marriage? No. No? No. No? No. No? No. <laughs> Why should I have the right to be fought? Sir, it is important for his honor and for yours especially that he let everybody think he married her of his own free will. Well, how much for my honor and for his prove the contrary? I don't think he'll do it. He'll, he'll do it or I'll, I'll force him to. I still don't think he'll do it. He'll do it to uh, disinherit. Disinherit him. You won't disinherit your own son. I won't disinherit him? No. No? No. No? No. <laughs> and who's gonna stop? You will, sir. Me? Yes. No. Yes. Sir, you may have the rights of a father, but they have the rights of love. Don't worry about it. You're just too good natured, that's all. I am not all good natured. Not well, all good natured. He is not at all good nature. Trust me. I can be the very devil I want to be. Oh, he is too. <clears throat> Let's have no more silly chit chat. I'll bust. Don't bet that rascal of a son of mine by John C. 
thinking yours won't take part. <laughs> oh, uh, sir, one more thing. You got the list. Ah, that's good. And uh, also, if you need uh, any help at all, I mean anything, just talk to Oscatino. I'll be there to help you. Thank you. Watch that Tokyo me, child. With my daughter and survive with all my money. Uh, well, it looks like the plot is starting to patch. Just need a plan. Who can I use? Who in? <coughs> That's it. Sylvester! Sylvester! Do me a favor, remember? Okay. Uh, just do exactly what I tell you. Okay. First of all, I need you to put on my coat. Just put on my coat. I washed it. Okay, now, uh, lean on one leg. Good. Uh, now, now, uh, ah, put your hand on your hip. Just do it, just do it. Okay, uh, now, uh, squint your eyes really tiny like. Squint your eyes really tiny like. There we go. <laughs> Can you see? No! Oh, I'm uh, surrounded by idiots. Okay, now, now, I'm, uh, start around uh, like one of the back street times, you see. You want this? <laughs> like this? I said thugs, not boys. <laughs> okay, uh, here, watch me. Do like me. That's it, now you got it. Okay, now, Uncle Guido. We're gonna go see my Uncle Guido. Who's Uncle Guido? Everybody's got an Uncle Guido. Come on. Ah, there you are! 
Father, we're delighted to see you back in Naples. Give me a hug. Hold still. I have something to discuss with you first. But I'm sure you can give me a I said be still. Oh, well. <laughs> Come here. Look me straight in the eye. Why? In the eye. What has been going on while I've been away? Going on? Yes, what have you been doing while I've been gone? I don't think I have done anything that would give you cause for concern. Nothing at all? Nothing. Are you very certain? That's because I know I have done nothing wrong. Scarpino seems to think otherwise. Did he maybe tell you something about me, maybe? Did he tell me something? We'll discuss that at home! Go there immediately! If you won't be thought all the good name of your world I'll make sure you never dock in my doorway again! Goodness knows my door is quite dark enough as it is! <laughs> How could Scapino betray me like this? Mr. Scapino, I don't know how I could ever thank you. Hey, hey! There you are! Oh, you're a servant, sir. Don't play cruel jokes with me! What have I done, sir? Yeah. I'll teach you a lesson! Whoa! Hey! Scapino! Whoa! What's the matter? What have I done? What have you done? Traitor! Don't you call yourself Bruno! No, Octavio, I mean to make him confess here and now that you're in the dirty tricks No! Chill me there! Oh, this scoundrel! Will you never blab another ticket again? <laughs> what are you talking about? Come on, Bruno! Get him! Get him back! Oh! Come you, on! You wouldn't hit me with a thing like that, but you're I'm waiting! Oh. But what have I done? <laughs> you know your gut is you very oh. well! Right! Get him! Oh. No, no! Go away! Oh! No! 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 
I need your genius. Beat me like a dog in the streets. No, I won't. I, I can't. <laughs> Just uh, kill me quickly, that's all I ask of you. No, I can't do it. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, just uh, get the dough away. I'm a be gentle, though. I, I can't. Oh, you can't tell me what the fuck is After the way he insulted me. Oh, no, I refuse. That insult deep inside of me. Putting your pride away, man. Uh, but he beat me about the head. Oh. Made me drop my wig. In public of all places. With a sword. Oh, oh. Oh, you get us out of this mess, please. Please, you've got to do something to help. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you need? Just 500,000 lira. <laughs> 500? Oh, 500,000 lira. Well, that's a nothing. I suppose I could pull a million for you. How no, many? only 200,000. Only 200,000? You're being too easy on me. Idiots! <laughs> do I look like a money bag here? Ugh. <laughs> Wait a minute. I may be able to pull them out of your box. Huh? <laughs> 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 I swear on oh. you, by the chain I carry, by the 
razor in my pocket. By all the saints, by the time this day is over, I will rid you of that sniveling scoundrel, that stool pigeon of a man. Ah, gone <laughs> Oh, let me tell you, though, we, we're on your side, sir. We, we am a... We hate our Gante. That is going to show you what happens when anybody gets on the wrong side of me. Yes, it's a spit on our Gante. <laughs> Honey, sir. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, uh, we're on your side. We don't want on the wrong side, we want on the right side. I think that's what side we're on. Oh, boy. Sir, you were right about the whole situation. Oh, sit down here. You wait for me, and I will go get the police like you recommended in the first place. Scamino! What, sir? I changed my mind. You have? That's wonderful, sir. With all the praise of the saints. Oh, yes, sir. Wait a minute. What? No. How do you know I'm not just going to freak you out any money like last time? Don't make me argue anymore. Take the money. Okay. I'll wait for you home. All right, sir, but uh, no, don't blame me if I happen to accidentally steal it. <laughs> ciao, ciao. <laughs> ah, the smell of it. I love it. And you didn't do so bad yourself. As a matter of fact, uh, I need my coat back now. Right. Yes, that's right. Ah, hey. I think you should change me. Oh, no, no, okay. Ah, I have a smell of that. Hold it for a moment. Thank you. Well, that's a uh, one down and a one to go, huh? You better get ready, because here he comes now. What's she saying about me? Junante! Junante! Scapino, I'm here. Oh, if only I could find Junante, I could warn him of this terrible mess he's in. Oh. Scapino! It's me! Durante! Are you out there? Scapino! Are you there? It's you! Oh, it's no, you! Not ah. oh. Sorry, sir. But uh, I bring terrible news about your son, sir. My son? Yes. Walk with me, sir. No! Sorry. I was walking along and I found him sitting in the cafe. He was very, very sad, sir. So I decided to take him for a little bit of a walk. Well, we get over here, and a huge monster of a man, Turkish, I believe. Turkish! Yes. He invites us on board his boat and invites us to dinner. A big, healthy meal, plenty of wine, plenty of everything. It was wonderful. And this made you sad, why? Shush. <clears throat> the next thing you know, he throws your son on the board, punches me in the face, then throws me overboard as well while pulling your son out and says, if I don't get you 500,000 lira, he's going to kidnap your son. 500,000 lira? Yes, sir. Oh, that terrible attack, he'll be the death of me. That's what I said, sir. And all this time, we thought the hemorrhoids were going to get you in the end. <laughs> <laughs> what the devil was he doing on board that boat? Sir, I can assure you, we had no idea what was going to happen. Scapino! Yes. Come here, come here. You go get the police. Tell that to bell get him. Of course, oh, the police, sir. I'll be right back. I am brilliant. Wait a minute. What were the police going to do, sir? They're in the middle of the ocean. Maybe the swimming police, but I don't think we had it. <laughs> what the devil was he doing on board that boat? <clears throat> he didn't know it was going to happen. You say they asked. How much? Five hundred thousand lira. Five hundred? Yes. Are you touching me? Sorry, sir. What the devil was he doing on board that boat? Quite right, sir. What the devil was he doing on board that boat? Blast that boat! That boat's going to be the death of him. Scapino, come here. Yes, sir. I've just come upon a sum of money. Never thought he'd leave me so soon. Wonderful, sir. Yeah. But you tell that to... He's the devil! Of course, sir. And a murderer! Yes. And a money grabber! Yes. And if I ever oh. find him in a dark alley, I'll have my revenge. Oh, yes, sir, you can be assured. 
No, Turkey. What, what the devil, devil was he doing on Fort Devil? devil? <laughs> no, Turkey is going to mess with us ever again. I hate Turks. I do too, sir. I don't like the Turks neither. They're mean, they're crusty, they're old. A lot like you. I can't believe I'm working for you for so long. Uh, uh, Camino, Camino, uh, anything hey, said? Did you help us? Watch the jacket. Money? Thank you. Money? Money? As a matter of fact, yes, though. 200,000 lira for you? Oh, I'm wild with happiness. And did you get anything from oh. me? Oh. Ooh. Me, huh? Huh? <laughs> you. Oh, you. Oh, you. Huh? For you, sir, I could do absolutely nothing. Uh, joking, right? Uh -huh. No, sir, your father was adamant. He would give me no money at all. I'm sorry. You, no. Life is not worth living without my Zerbinetta. What are you doing? I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go hey, in. hey, so, sir. No. Uh, sir, I was only joking. The huh? money. <laughs> Sir, you have made life worth living. It's not going to be worth living longer if you don't get off my check. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let's go buy my Zerbinetta. My dear Jacinta. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You delude yourself, women. A true romance must have both its ups and its downs. Oh, enough, Scapino. Uh, Won't you help us forget our troubles by making us laugh? Yes, Scapino. No, 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 I couldn't possibly. Oh, why don't you tell us the story of how you got the money out of the old mine? Yes, Scapino. I I'm very sure I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do, Scapino. Tell us, Scapino. Tell us, Scapino. Tell us, tell us. Stop it. Stop it. Get off me. I'm very busy. I'm a trying to think right now. Sylvester, take him away and uh, cut their nails or something. Oh, remember, oh. Scapino, we will be needing your help. Yes, Scapino, please don't forget us. Ciao. Ciao. Do I look like a charity? I am not helping everybody in Italy. You're not going to bring up that mess. But how to get back at those you're on. No one at eat. I like to put him into a big sack and just pound him flat. That's not practical. Or maybe it is. Hey, Tony. Hey, Scarpino. How you doing? I'm doing okay. The uh, old bag sent me out here with an old bag to clean up. Hey, yes. Uh, tell me something. Um, you remember the uh, time about uh, two years ago when uh, you helped me out? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the incident with the little French girl in Belize? Yes, that, uh, that little incident. Well, you know something, I never paid you back for that. That's true. How about I um, uh, do you a favor and, uh, you know, clean up your shop for you? Would you really do that for me? I want to do that for you, sir. Okay, well, you take good care of the old bag and I'll go take care of the old bag. <laughs> hey, here she comes. How you get along with saving my son? Sir, let me assure you. Your son... You're passing me! I'm sorry, sir. Your son is perfectly safe now. Well, that's good. Yes, but it is you who is in danger now. Me! Yes, sir. As we speak, every bandit from sea to shining sea is looking for you. Why? They want to murder you. Murder me! Oh, Scapino, what shall I do? Stop touching me! <laughs> I have a plan to uh, get you out of Italy, sir, but it involves you uh, popping in this sack. <laughs> oh, no! I'm not getting in the sack with you. <laughs> sir, plenty of room. <laughs> sir! Sit down! Look who's coming now! Who is he? I don't know, sir, but they can't see you in the sack. Oh, brilliant idea! Yes! Hold that! Okay, sir. Don't trick me! I'm sorry, <laughs> sir. There you go. To the bottom. Here comes your key. To the bottom! Oh. Sorry, sir. Oh, no, sir. Here he comes now! Oh, no, 
sir. What Don't is it? leave now. What? Here comes another one. Well, I'm not getting in that sack. It's a vicious eastern type. Not an eastern type. Karate chop. Oh, no. Oh, quickly, sir. Oh. To the bottom. Oh. To the bottom. Oh. I'm in the bottom again. Yes. Good, sir. Me 
weighed down by misfortunes. Then see me too in a slothless form. It seems Lupino has tipped me out to five hundred thousand lira. What? So Lupino has tipped me out two hundred thousand lira. Not only did he trick me out to 500,000 lira, he has treated me in a way I'm too ashamed to even speak of. But I'll have my rough thank God him! You don't even think about it!
this bracelet reveals she's my very own daughter. Your daughter! Yes. Oh my god. And when I look closely, I see all of my family traits in her face. Oh, father! What do you mean?